Hello guys, Justin with Fuel and Firepower. Today we're back out here doing another test. I did a short the other day where I was comparing the 880 to the Bear 1866 uh, and checking penetration, right? And I was checking it on cans full of water and they both made it through the same. And I, I thought that was a pretty cool test to do, so I wanted to take a little further. My question today is, which will penetrate further? 22 cal or a 177 cal? Let me introduce you to the rifles. This here is my Beeman Raider in 22 cal. It is a PCP air rifle and it shoots hard. It's a great rifle. It's, it's been excellent. <clears throat> this here is my Crossman Vapor Max. So this is a 177 cal multi-pump air rifle. Uh, both these do use mags, which is pretty cool. I mounted a scope on this one, still using iron sights on this one. That doesn't matter for this test though. When testing these two, not everything can be even because there's two different calibers, two different rifles. But what we can do is make it as even as possible. So first thing we've done, we're shooting both of these with the Crossman hollow points. Now the 177 cal is a 7.9 grain and the 22 cal is a 14.3 grain. So obviously there's going to be a difference in weight there, but they're both hollow points and they're both the Crossmans. I do know also this just shooting regular and this one at 10 pumps, their velocities with these are very close. So that's why I chose these two rifles. That's why I chose these pellets. So we've got very close velocity. We're shooting the same style pellet, uh, just different grains and different calibers. Uh, what we're going to be testing penetration through, instead of testing them through cans, I've cut up a ton of these like three by three, four by four squares here. Uh, they're just cardboard. I've cut them up out of all the same box. So they're the same thickness and I've got them set up out here. So we're just going to shoot through them and see how many they go through. So I think that's an interesting test. So I'm not for sure how this is going to work out, uh, but what do I think right now? I know this has more like punching power, more just solid force when it hits, but the 177, if it's going to be the same speed, but a smaller projectile, I feel like it will cut through maybe more. Just right now, uh, I think the 177 cal will actually penetrate a little further. That's my prediction. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the chronograph out here in the light. And we'll shoot both these rifles and just make sure that they are pretty close on velocity. So I'll get you out here. All right, guys. So first we're going to test the Crossman Vapor Max at 10 pumps. So 898, that's our baseline. I'm going to go over here and grab the Beam and Raider and we'll redo this. So we got the Beam and Raider down. And we're charged up to about 3,500 PSI right now. So I'll get you down here and we'll see what it does. So within 24 feet per second of each other. This one will have a tad bit more speed, bigger bullet, heavier grain. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna sit back here about 10 yards back. I'm gonna go get me some eye protection real quick. And we're gonna take a shot at this cardboard over here. Let me move you around so you can see it. So this here is what I've got set up. I've got a bunch of, of, of the squares of cardboard set up. I've got a backstop of wood and, and the side of wood just to kind of hold it here all together. And we're just going to be trying to hit center mass if we can. First, we're going to shoot the 177 cow, and then we'll pull them out and count them, and then we'll shoot it with the 22 cow. I'm going to try to get two cameras set up real quick, and we'll get started. All right, guys. Ten pumps with this guy shooting right there. I've got another camera on it. It's at low percentage, so I'm going to try to make this fast. <laughs> All right, that was a good solid hit. All right, let's, let's count them in. We got one, two, three, and it stopped. In number 22. See the pellet there? Stop the number 22. So that's interesting. All right. So hopefully we can find both of those pellets and we'll take a look at them at the end. I think that's going to be cool. I'm going to get you set back up and we're going to shoot it with the beaming. All right. Let's take a look at that. All right. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 30. So <laughs> here's our pellet. It's stuck in number 30 there. And did a, some pretty good damage on 31. But it stopped in 30. So we're going to stick with that. I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, but let's get over here and we'll talk about it. All right, guys. There you go. So my hypothesis was wrong, guys. Shows you the difference in penetration there. So the Crossman Vapor Max and stopped in number 22. And the Beeman Raider stopped in number 30. But there's a 
pretty good argument that it would have been 31 because it was cracked all the way through, but this one did stop the pellet, so we're going to count it. So this is a test to show you kind of the difference, more or less in foot-pounds of energy, is more important than velocity. Velocity only being 20-something feet per second difference doesn't attribute much to it as just your foot-pound of energy. Foot-pound of energy is what's going to push that pellet through uh, and get more penetration for you. So that shows it here and how that worked. And here's a pretty good representation of the difference. Let's figure out foot-pounds of energy. Okay, so I'll pause the video there to figure out foot-pounds of energy just so we'd have that information as well. So it looks like the 177 cow with the velocity it was putting out and the granite pellet had about a 14.15 foot-pounds of energy. Now the 22 cow was putting out 27 foot-pounds of energy. So a little under 13 foot-pounds of energy. But that being said, it's really almost double this. But the velocity this was putting out and how thin it was actually got further than you would think compared to the foot-pound of energy difference, really. So now, let's take a look at these pellets. All right, so here we go. So let's pull the pellet out of this guy here. We got that one out. Let's get this one out. So let's take a look at them here. So it does bend up the skirt quite a bit. As you can see. As far as the head, it does flatten it out a tad. It doesn't really deform it a ton. Alright guys, so we moved around here a little bit just to try to get out of the sun. It was really messing with my camera. <laughs> so there you go. We had 30 there, 22 there, foot-pounds of energies there. I mean, I think that we answered a question. The 22 cal with the extra foot-pounds of energy is just going to push a little bit further through. Even though it's a heavier grain, it's just going to pack more punch. That's why a 22 cal is such a good pesting rifle. It really does the job. Uh, makes quick work of anything. And it's rated up for quite a bit larger animals than what the 177 cal. If you're going to be doing pesting with birds and squirrels, stuff like this is perfect. Anything bigger like raccoons and possums and rabbits could go either way. This right here is going to have that packing power to really put them down. We all know that nothing really beats a will play shot. So keep that in mind. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed shooting it. I think that is some very interesting results. I'm glad you all came along with me. Don't forget to go check out my TikTok and Instagram. If you guys are interested in joining my membership, it's live down below. I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you next time.